What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. My name is Nestor Alvensen and today we're going to learn about how to print in Excel 2016. Hey, this task might seem quite straightforward, but the truth is that we have been challenged in one way or another, right? Well, not anymore after we go through this tutorial. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we're going to go through Open Print Preview to solve in an exercise. Okay, so this is gonna be fun and let's keep going. Open print preview. So here we have three different options to open the print preview. The first one is by going to file and then selecting here print. If we wanna leave this window, let's press the escape key and we are back again. So the second option here is by selecting print preview and print. And this is a symbol. If we go up, right here we can see that symbol click right there and boom there you guys have it so let's leave this window and we are here again the third option is my favorite we're going to use a shortcut to get the print preview Control p and then we will see what happens there it is that's the print preview so that's how it works guys let's press escape again boom here in this step, we just saw three different ways to open the print preview. Now let's go to the next point. Print preview. Here we're gonna get familiar with the main features, okay? Let's press Control P and we're gonna go through the main features here. So the first one is the number of copies. So let's say that we wanna have just two copies. You type right there, two copies. If you wanna have five copies, five copies. If you want to have 10 copies, the same thing here, 10 copies. So that's how it works. So the next point here is about the printer. So this might seem very simple, but it might be complicated sometimes. So please, let's select the right printer. So in this case, we're going to select the HP MB5000 series. So here is the reason that I'm asking you to select the right printer you might be sending your documents to a different printer and you don't know yet, right? And this usually happens if we are using a wireless printer. So please, let's make sure that we select the right printer. So the next point here is about what to print. So here we have three different options. We can print the active sheet, we can print the entire workbook, or we can print just a selection. It depends on your data. It depends on what you want to print. So the next point here is about selecting the number of pages. We can select just one page or we can select a range of pages here. Let's say that we want to select from page two to page 20. We can do this here. So now let's go to page orientation. We have two different options, portrait orientation and landscape orientation. So you can select the option that works best for your data, okay? So now we have right here, paper size. Here we have many different options. So you can select the option that works best for you. For some people, letter is fine. For others, A4 is fine. For others, A5 is fine. So you can select the option that works best for your data. Now let's go to margins. So here we have four different options. We have the last custom settings. We have normal, we have white, and we have narrow. Let's use our claims data to visualize the changes, okay? Let's leave this window. And here is the claims data. Control P. And let's see what happens here. So the last custom settings, there you guys have it. Normal, that looks better. White, it changes, right? And then narrow, it also changes. Here we have four different options. And in this case, we're gonna leave it as it is. Okay, normal. So now let's leave this window and let's go back to print preview. Control P. Now let's check scaling. Here we have four different options. No scaling, fit sheet on one page, fill all columns on one page, fit all rows on one page. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's leave this window and let's go to claims data. Control P, because we want to visualize the changes, right? So right here, no scaling, nothing happens. Fit sheet on one page, that's how it works. 
fit all columns on one page, that looks better. Fit all rows on one page, that looks different. As I said before, here we have four different options and we can keep playing with this feature, okay? But in this case, no scaling. So now let's leave this window and let's go back to print preview. Control P and the last feature here is page setup. Page setup is really important. Here we have four different features as well. Page, we can play with this as well. Orientation, portrait, landscape. We can play with the scaling here. We can adjust it 50%, 100%, 120%. We can play with this tool as well. The other feature here is margins. We can adjust the margins here as well. Top, left, right button. This is also really important. Center on page. Let's see what happens. So this looks better. We can keep playing with this tool. Another tool here is header and footer. We can add headers and footers to the pages, so we can do it here, okay? And then finally, here we have this option as well, sheet. One of the main features here is this one right here, rows to repeat at top. Let's say that we wanna have the same row for every single page. We can select this option right here. We're gonna see an example about this as well, so don't worry, okay? So let's cancel this because we don't wanna make any changes yet. So that's all we have for print preview. So let's leave this window. And now let's go to view. For view, we have three different views. We have normal, page break preview, and we have page layout. And now let's go to claims data so we can see this better, okay? So normal view is basically just a normal view, right? You can see your document like it is right now. For page break preview, and let's see what happens. So basically here, you can see where the page breaks will appear when your document is printed. These dashed lines are the limits among these pages, okay? And finally, we have the page layout. So for page layout, so you can see how your printed document will look. Let's zoom out a little bit. So this is how it works. This is a good way to check out where pages begin and end. And also, this is a good way to see any headers and footers on each page, okay? Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's say that we wanna add headers here. So we have three different options, left, center, and right. So let's say that we wanna add a logo here. So we select this area and then go to design, picture. And then we can select the picture that we like best, right? From file, from Bean image search, you can select the option that works best for you here, okay? We're gonna do this in our exercise, okay? Now let's say that we wanna add a footer. We go to the bottom of the page and we also have three different options. Let's say that we wanna add right here. We can go to design and then page number, for example. Okay, so that's how it works. That's all we have for this part. Wait, if we go to the right button of your screen, you can also find the three views right here. Right here. Normal view, page layout, and page break preview. See right there? So the good thing about Excel is that we have the same option in different ways. So this is very helpful as well, okay? So now let's go back to view. That's all we have for this part. And now let's go to page layout. Now let's learn more about page layout. Page layout is right here. And the features that we have here are very similar to what we just saw in our previous steps. For example, margins right here, we already saw this. Page orientation, we can select between these two options. For size right here, we can select the option that works best for us. What is new here is print area. So this works if you wanna print a specific part of your data, okay? So let's see how it works. Let's go to claim data. And right here, let's say that we wanna print just the first 10 pages. We go to print area, set print area, and then control P, boom. We have just one page right there. That's how it works. Let's leave this window. 
and then right here let's clear the print area because we don't want to make any changes yet right so now let's go back to page layout and we have right here also breaks here we can insert a page break we can remove a page break as well so we can do this manually okay let's go back to claims data and see how it works and let's use this view right here so this help us understand how it works breaks right here let's say that we want to insert a page break so the first thing here is to select where we want to place the page break right let's say that we want to place the break between rows 19 and 20 right here we select that row and then we go to breaks and insert page break so this is how it works you can see right there the new page break you can do it for columns as well let's say that we want to place a page break right here we go to breaks insert page break that's how it works see as you can see we can add page breaks manually okay but in this case we're going to delete this because we don't want to have that yet but remember here that the software has created his own page breaks right there you can see the dashed lines right there right those are the page breaks okay that's how it works let's go back to page layout you can also add a background if you want from file from the internet you can do that and then the print titles this is basically the page that we already saw that's all we have for this part now let's dive into the exercise so this is the fun part of this tutorial right because we want to put into practice what we have just learned okay let's do it so we have right here some directions print all data available claims data including pivot table and pivot chart add company's logo as header and page number as footer margins centered on page horizontally and vertically repeat first row on every page select two copies one for your boss and another one for yourself all right we have the directions here and let's do it let's go to claims data it's right there normal view so we want to print these documents right first let's open the print preview control p and let's see how many pages do we have we have 95 pages we have one two three four five six columns it seems like something is missing here let's leave this window yeah so right here we have claim channel is missing for example right because if we print this document as it is we might have some issues incomplete pages something might be wrong right so that's why we have to customize before we print so let's do it so now let's go to the page break preview right here see that's why remember that we didn't see the last column it's because the dashed line needs to be right here right so that's how it works so how about if we add a new column here so we can press Control shift and plus at the same time we can add a new column so in that way we can move this dashed line to the right so it looks better now right so we can also adjust this page right here to the right uh, we, can, we can do it one more if we want so that's how it works so now it looks better let's go to normal view and let's press Control p now you can see claim channel right here so what else do they ask for add company's logo as header and page numbers for okay let's do that so remember that we need to select page layout in order to do that so now let's insert our company's logo here let's select this area go to design picture from file and right here let's select this logo insert click right there oh it's too big right so we're gonna adjust that so let's select this picture right here and then right here select format picture and we're going to select right here 15 percent 15 percent hit okay boom that looks better so we have the logo right there what else do they ask for footer okay 
So let's go to the bottom of this page. And then right here, select this area. Let's go to design. And then let's select page number. Let's click outside. Boom. That looks better, right? We have page one right here. We have page two. It's working. What else do they ask for? Margin, center on page. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to page layout. And right here, let's select this option. Margins, center on page. And then hit OK. Boom. That looks better. What else? Repeat first row on every page. All right, let's do that. Before we do that, let's see what's happening. Control P. So we have right here our first page, right? And we have 76 pages. Let's say that we want to see the next page, page two. We don't see the header here. So that's kind of annoying because we don't see what's happening. Let's see that someone who's not familiar with this data gets this page. So they don't know what's going on here, right? So that's why we need to add the first row in every single page. So let's do that. So let's leave this window. And right here, let's go to page layout, print titles. And right here, we have the option rows to repeat at top. So in this case, we're going to select this one right here. And then let's select this row, row four. And then after we do that, let's hit OK. And then Control P. Let's double check. Let's go to page two. Page two. Boom. Here we have it. So it's working. Now let's double check for page 20. Page 20 right there. We have the first row right there. So it's working. Let's leave this print preview. What else do we need? Select two copies, one for your boss and another one for yourself. OK. So let's open the print preview again. Control P. And in this case, they are asking for two copies, two copies right there. And double check right here. We need to select the right printer. Boom. Now it's ready. So after it's ready, we can select print and boom. That's how it works. Let's leave this print preview right now. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Oh, wait, I think we have something else here. Ah, we have a bonus because I know you guys love bonuses. Let's click right here. So right here, we have two more tips, print to PDF and print a selected area. Let's do it the first one. We go to claims data, control P from page three to page 10. And then right here. So if we want to print this document to PDF, this is what we should do. Printer and then select Microsoft print to PDF and then select print. And of course we need just one copy. Select print and let's see what happens. We can call this printing in Excel 2016 if we want. And then save. All right, let's double check. It's right here from page three to page 10. Boom. That's how it works. What's the other question? Print a selected area. Okay, let's do it. Pivot table and pivot chart and page orientation should be landscape. Okay, let's do it. And let's select just a normal view. And here we need to select just the pivot table and the pivot chart. Let's do it. And right here, let's go to print area, set print area, and then control P, page it up. And right here, let's change the page orientation landscape. And also, let's increase the scaling here. How about 100%? And then we hit OK. That looks better. We have just one page right here, right? When we are playing with this feature, let's make sure that we are making the right adjustments, OK? All right, it's ready. Now, if you want to print this document, hit print. Boom. There you guys have it. All right, let's leave this window. What else do we have? That's it. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. See you guys in my next tutorial.